Nori, what you bro? But I just heard that 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 Breakfast Club shit. Nah, bro, we, we bro, we know what we doing what we doing. That's one thing about us, Nori. But I fuck with you, but what you can't do is act like you wasn't hearing what you was hearing, and act like you had a problem with it when you was hearing it. Cause we know you didn't have a problem with it. You didn't even have a problem with it. calling Puff a, uh, a fan, and that's on Revo. Like, that's Puff Network. If you gonna fuck with Ye, fuck with Ye, bro. We all disagree and agree with some shit Ye says. You know what I'm saying? And that's just our personal opinion. But all the apologies to the family and all this shit, like you all of a sudden anti yay that ain't gangster, homie. No, you a stand-up dude, bro. Just simply say you let that man do his interview because it's Kanye West, it's Jay, right? You didn't want him to walk out because at the same token, I just went and checked. If you that emotional about this shit, why is it still up? You still reaping the benefits of the views, bro, if, if it's that serious. Like, bro, don't play off into the politics, bro. Stand on your square like you always did, bro. You didn't have no problem with that man speaking his opinion because it was his opinion. Don't let him put it on you. Tell him address yay. You there to ask a question to get a motherfucking answer. You ain't the judge and jury to that, but don't flip it, bro. Like, all of a sudden, all I got at yay after the fact. And if you didn't get at yay, right get in there like you always do when he said what he said, you don't want to hear that shit, bro. Stand on your square. You did a great motherfucking interview, part three. Probably one of the biggest, um, you know, uh, uh, viewing artists that comes up there, bro. Don't act like, well, I didn't got three out of him. I don't need him no more. Fuck him. Nah, bro. Stand on your square. You ask the questions, they get the answers. That's it, bro. All that other shit, bro, that shit ain't real. That shit ain't right, bro. And, and, and you know, and respecting that, bro. All of a sudden, you totally against everything he was saying and all this shit. All that shit is cap. Big cap, bro. You did it for the reasons you did it for, and we don't knock that, bro. It's business. Stand on your square, Noy. Stand on your square. You a stand-up, bro. Don't let these niggas shake you like this all of a sudden. Be who you always been, bro. Now that's what WAC 100 had to say about Nori. And I'm gonna give my opinion on the situation too. Nori was super fake. Like everything, everything that transpired after that interview, I wanna let it be known that Noriega is super fake and he 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 look he looked like a snake right now. He's looking like a big snake, he's looking like a big opportunist. Like the man, I watched the whole entire interview. The man had Kanye West there. Kanye West was saying everything he wanted to say. Nori did not look. Nori did not look shaken or moved in a negative way about nothing Kanye West was saying. Because for one, he agreed with everything Kanye West is saying. Even when Kanye West got mad and called Meek Mill and Puff Daddy feds on Revo, Nori didn't say nothing about it. At no point did Noriega say, yo, yay, you got to chill, bro. You got to chill. At no point did he say that. At First of all, first of all, first of all, he knew what a Kanye Drink Champs interview was going to do. He put out the interview and the interview was still up. Doing amazing numbers like the first two interviews did. So he's making thousands of dollars off the internet. Even though he's facing backlash right now from a certain community. Even though he's facing backlash, his name is still spreading. He's still going viral. There's going to be a lot of people who's not from where we come from who's going to be introduced to Drink Champs. He stands to make more money and get more attention off of Drink Champs because the way he used, and yes, I'm going to say used, he used Kanye West and he took advantage of Kanye West. If Kanye West is really a friend, mind you, they're supposed to really be friends. Kanye West... Nickname his daughter Nori after Noriega. Noriega was not being a good friend. If you like, you knew what scrutiny was gonna come after that interview, but you still put it out. Not only did you put it out, 
They ask you how you feel about it. You like, oh, I'm disgusted about what Kanye said, this, that, and the third. My guy, you didn't stop him not one time to tell him chill. You ain't stop him not one time. You let him go, go, and go on because he was going to have a whole bunch of sound bites, a whole bunch of viral moments from the interview that's going to be spoken about for forever. And you let this man just go off. Knowing Kanye, who personally, I don't feel like he crazy. What I do feel like is that he's just not a great public speaker. He's not a great public speaker. And it's certain words and phrases and terminologies that he was supposed to use instead of other words. And it's things that he don't clarify enough because his brain is moving a mile a minute. And I have those moments myself. And I'm not crazy. So I know Kanye not crazy. You know what I'm saying? Kanye just, he don't, he don't have the vocabulary to express the things he want to express without offending certain groups of people sometimes. And then a lot of other times people take sound bites and then they blow it up and they speak for him before they even allow him to explain himself. But I feel like Noriega was just being real, real, real fake. And it's corny. It's corny, like. He's extremely corny for that. He's extremely corny for that. That was that's the first time me from the outside end seeing Nori and look at Nori and like, yo, Nori doing some snake stuff right here, man. Like this is this is corny. This is not what you do to your friends. If he was really concerned about the people who Kanye West was offending, and if and if he was really concerned about Kanye's state of mind. And how it's going to reflect Kanye West after the interview came out. He wouldn't have put it down. He, I mean, he wouldn't have put it out. Or once it started making his rounds and he started getting backlash, he would have took it down. I guarantee you he's not going to take it down. He's not going to take it down. Everybody ain't your friend, man. All skin folk ain't kin folk. 